Welcome to this week's edition of Red Devil Roundup and of course this year we're previewing all the fall sports before they get started. Now today we're previewing women's golf and I'll go ahead and let my guest introduce herself. My name's Allison Lewis. Allison, uh, what year are you at uh, Owensboro High School? I'm going to be a junior this year. You're going to be a junior. Uh, how long have you played golf? Um, this will be my third year. Third year playing golf. Um, how have you improved over the years? Um, you know, what, what's kind of changed in your game? Um, well, obviously I've gotten better. Like just throughout the years, you just get better each time. And I've gotten stronger in like my swing. I was going to say, speaking of stronger, you know, what, what do you consider uh, the stronger aspect of your game? You know, what are you really good at? What do you need to improve on? Um, I like putting. That's probably my favorite. I need to improve on my driving. But other than that, everything else is just kind of in the middle. Sure. Well, of course, uh, you know, the season doesn't start here for quite a while, but you guys are, uh, or rather you gals, are getting a, uh, a head start. Just kind of talk about what you guys are out here doing. Well, usually we just come out here and play nine holes, and we just work on just things we need to work on. It's different for everybody. We do our irons and our driver and just whatever we feel like needs work on. Just talk just a little bit about uh, this season. Uh, you all going to have a young team, an old team. Kind of where are you guys at with that? Well, we're going to – we're kind of in the middle. We have – and we're kind of young, I guess. But we've all been playing for about the same time, some of us a little longer. And I feel like we're going to do good this year. I was going to say, yeah. of course, the longer you play together, um, obviously the more people you have that have more experience – Probably makes a better team, I'm guessing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> kind of just talk just a little bit about uh, kind of your goals for this season. My goals is to shoot lower, of course, and just to work on my different clubs and make sure I'm trying my best and doing the best I can. All right. Well, we'll be back with another female golfer just after this break. And we're back here talking about the women's golf team here at Owensboro High School. I've got a new golfer up. I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Alexis Kane. Uh, Alexis, uh, kind of talk just a little bit about uh, how long you've been playing golf for Owensboro. Um, since I was in sixth grade. Since you're in sixth grade, and what grade are you in now? Tenth. Tenth grade. So uh, you've been out here uh, quite a while. Uh, kind of, what have you learned over the years? I mean, you've been with the team this long. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty pretty rare for somebody to stick with it that long and still only be in tenth grade. It's fun. I know uh, meet every pe uh, new people every day, every year. So. What? I just enjoy the game. Well, yeah, I was going to say, what, what about golf is appealing to you? Why, why do you uh, partake in this sport? Um, you can walk and have fun and exercise at the same time. or just... go, They go hand in hand, I guess, yeah. right? Uh, kind of talk about uh, your guys' uh, your, your goals for this season. Uh, you know, it seems like you still have kind of a young team, but you guys have been playing for quite a while. Yes, we, we've been playing for quite a while. We get new players um, at least one every day or every year. What do you look for when you're trying to build a golf team? I mean, as far as, you know, experience, uh, you know, age, you know, what do you, what do you guys look for? You know, what, what makes a good golf player? Um, if you're willing to come out here every morning and practice and get better, you don't have to be the best. You can just come out here and get better every year, every day. Speaking of best, uh, you know, what, what do you consider uh, the best aspect of your game? You know, what do you think you're good at? What do you think you need to improve upon? Um, my driving and my long game is really good. My putting and my chippings. Uh, I struggle. Yeah, you struggle, but I'm sure you're probably better than most of the people out here. I mean, how, how do you improve on that? What do you, what do you uh, practice when you're doing that? Uh, I come out here every morning and play and get lessons from um, an individual out here. Sure. I mean, obviously practice makes perfect uh, out here at Ben Halls uh, with you girls uh, out here uh, in the summer. It's the summer. The season hasn't even started yet. You guys are already starting to get going here. Just kind of talk about why that's important. Because we get new um, players every year. And if you don't have anybody, if you don't have people and you don't know them, if you come out here, it's kind of, it's not, you have to be comfortable around your team. So we have the people that are not so good to come out here and then they feel uncomfortable. And we're out here for two months with each other before the actual season starts. So, so obviously that helps you guys uh, prepare for the season. Yeah. And we're back with the fall edition of Red Devil Roundup. And like I've said, we're previewing the women's uh, golf team here at Owensboro High School. I'll go ahead and let my next guest introduce herself. Hi, I'm uh, Sherry Worth. I uh, golf coach at Owensboro, and I also teach math. Uh, coach Worth, just kind of talk about uh, you know this season. Uh, you were telling me off camera a little bit ago that uh, you think you guys are going to be pretty good this year. Yes, uh, we, um, we are setting our expectations a little higher than we have in the past. Um, our girls have been working really, really hard off season. Our school bought our um, 
each player a membership, so that has helped. We thank you, <laughs> and we appreciate that. Even when I'm not here with them, they're out here practicing. So, so this is something that, you know, with them buying these memberships, I mean, they can use this not just, you know, out here when you all have an organized practice, but they can always come out here. Exactly. Like the last two weeks, we could uh, officially as a team, we could only practice from 10 to 4 with me, but they're out here the other days. Uh, I kind of talk about a little bit about uh, the team. Obviously, uh, you know, it's no secret yet you have a, a stud, as we call it in the sports world, uh, with Keisha. But, I mean, you've got a lot of girls that have been playing for quite some time as far as starting them off in middle school. Yes. Um, Keisha, we do have high expectations for her. We also have high expectations for Alexis, who's behind me. She has improved considerably. Um, we have Allie Lewis. Um, she did not play softball this year, so she could concentrate on on golf. Um, she's improved a lot. And then we have Savannah, who's an eighth grader, or seventh grader. And uh, her family's a member out here, so she's out here with her, everybody. She's out here every day. Sure. Uh, what makes up a good girls golf team? You know, a lot of people might not know as much about golf as they do about football, baseball, basketball, et cetera. But I mean, what makes a good, uh, a good golf team for you guys? Uh, consistency. Um, we're going to try to not leave so many strokes out on the course work on our putting, chipping, uh, but being consistent, that's the main thing. Sure. Uh, kind of talk about this upcoming season. Uh, when do you guys uh, start? When's your first match? Uh, do, you, do you play out here? Just kind of give people the details if they want to come out and watch you guys. Okay. Yes, um, we are here on Mondays, also with the boys. Uh, that's our course, um, our day for the, and then we uh, will travel either two, one or two other days of the week. Our first match will be um, the 8th, I think. We start on the 7th, so I'll be on the Thursday at Brett County. And I guess that is in August, of course. Yes. Yes. Uh, is golf, I mean, how do you cheer for golf? I mean, do you come out here? Do you follow them? You know, for people that might not know, if people want to come out and support, you know, what do they need to do? Because obviously it's a little different than if you're coming to a football game or a baseball game. Uh, we do have several people who come out and follow. Uh, you have to stay um, 20, 30 yards away from the girls, and no one can speak to them. Like, they can't go get water from their mommy or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, so we would love to have people out. We have several students that will come out and watch. And so uh, if you come out here on a Monday, uh, Catholic is also here with us. So it's full of uh, high school kids. Sure. Well, thanks for watching this edition of Red Devil Roundup. Of course, we're previewing all the fall sports that Owensboro High School has to offer. Stay tuned next week for our next sport. For the Owensboro Public School System, I'm Dave Kirk. Thanks for watching.